decline, 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 take action, put it here, and away we go. Hey everybody, we're back with MTG Arena. We're doing a little historic constructed right now. Um, I'm actually re-recording this intro after I got done playing because I realized that my face uh, during the whole thing was up here so you guys couldn't see any of the cards I was talking about. Um, so put together a little deck. This one's a creation of my own, so I'm pretty proud of it. But um, basically the whole point of the deck is to get Guide of Souls down on turn one. Um, and this card is its just simply amazing. I don't know what else to say. Uh, when it comes in, um, it just comes in as a 1-2. But whenever you attack, if you pay 3 energy, you get to add two one one counters to an attacking creature and give it a flying counter. Not flying until end of the turn, just a flying counter. So it becomes an angel. It's got flying, and it's got the two one one counters on it permanently, right? So um, it's just its just an amazing card. Uh, plus, whenever a, a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and get one energy. So for that reason... We have Voice of the Blessed in the deck as well, because that thing just loves gaining life, right? We also have Voice of the Blessed in the deck because we're running Get Riddlegate Gargoyle. Um, so when this thing comes in, it gives you three energy, and then you can pay two energy to give target attacking creature lifelink until end of turn. That one doesn't stay on, but it's till end of turn. So again, it plays really well with the Voice of the Blessed. And giving the three energy counters on turn two activates the Guide of Souls. So honestly, turn one, Guide of Souls, turn two either Riddlegate Gargoyle or the Hexgold Slith, a common card. Um, when it comes in, it gives you two energy. Every time it does combat um, to a player, it gets a 1-1 counter on it. Amazing. You can pay two energy to give it first strike until end of turn. Amazing. Uh, we're also running Jolted Awake to get back our Guide of Souls if somebody zaps it on turn one. Uh, this card's pretty good as well. Let's you return a card from the graveyard um, equal to its mana, its mana cost to your energy. So if you've got two energy, you can bring back your God of Souls and still have an energy left over. It's amazing. We have a Fading Hope. We're running two of them into deck just to send back any giant things that might come our way. That comes in handy a couple times. Tune the Narrative gives us two mana, lets us draw a card. It's amazing. Um, Aether Spike, again, great counter. Ca counters any spell. You just have to pay energy. Um, Psych Rift, running one of those in the deck. Um, just in case we run into like a rat's deck or something and we need to get rid of all of them. Uh, Royal Cartographer. I didn't use the pay six that often, but the landfall, get an energy is, a, is great. And it's a one three, it's a nice little blocker. Um, we already talked about this one. Wrath of the Skies, again, to deal with rat decks or anything else that's out there that's really making us upset. Basically it's a wrath that you pay energy and it destroys creature value X or less, so. And then we're running a bunch of expensive lands, but hey, what? The rest of the deck isn't that expensive. There's only these four rares, these two rares. Everything else is a common or uncommon, right? Oh, this is a rare as well. And Psych Rift, Pact of Negation. Okay, never mind. It's got a lot of rares in it. But uh, I think in the video I talked about it being a relatively cheap deck. But it does have pretty expensive lands as well. So, we played this thing for six games. It was a pretty darn fun deck. Enjoy watching. Let's take it in. I'm going to keep playing it in the standard, not standard, <laughs> in the um, historic play queue for now. Um, see if we can't tweak it some more, maybe even get it a little competitive. I kind of doubt we can get there, but it's just too... If it doesn't go right away, if it doesn't pop, it just gets, it gets in trouble real quick. But here we go. This is a perfect start. Guide of Souls, Riddlegate, Voice of the Blessed. We are going to keep this. We are going to do this and this. Next turn, we cast Voice of the Blessed. We have to shock that in. Oh, I should have done this one because then this one would have given it the counters, but that's all right. All right. We're still doing okay. Um, this can come in tapped. Now we'll play this. Attack. We will take action. And we're going to put it right here. Um, we're going to decline that. Swinging for seven on turn three. 
opponent really needs their mana, so they're not going to block. We have lethal in the air next turn. attack. Take action. Put those right there. Decline. Decline. Boom. Oh, do they have... Oh, no. Do they have a response? <laughs> Turn four. Right in the face. Beautiful. That's what the deck is supposed to do. I'm, I'm pretty proud of this one. I'm not going to lie. Most of the decks I build are kind of stinkers, but... Alright, so we'll try it again. I mean, that pretty much played out the best it possibly could. So, we can't really expect that every time, but that was pretty neat. Especially because we were up against the slow green deck. Well, this looks familiar. Unfortunately, we are... Oh, that's a major bummer. That actually slows us down quite a bit. But next turn, we can get Guide of Souls up in the air with two counters on it. Heist target opponent's library. What does Heist do? Look at the three random look at three random non-land cards from a library. Exile one of them face down. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any type. Okay, wonder what they got. I also wonder if they're running a reprieve. Ooh, um, we will decline that one. We will take action on that one. Targeting our own. Up against a life gain deck, I see. Hmm. Sure. Hopefully they don't have a turn four board wipe here. If an opponent would gain life, that player loses that much life instead. Ouch. So now, it would appear, we are in a race against ourselves. So here we go. We're going to gain some life, which means we're going to lose life. Yep. Decline. Take action. Right here. Next. Okay. Okay. So now we can counter whatever shenanigans they have. That's a good one to counter. Um, yeah. Decline. Decline, decline, take action, put it here, and away we go. Right on. All right, 2-0 in the play queue. 
It's hard. I mean, this deck is really good when, again, when you've got the, what is it, Guide of Souls, turn one. I mean, it's just so good. That's what the deck is built around. I am sure we are going to see it fall flat on its face here pretty soon. Up against Skull. Poof. This is more what I'm used to seeing. Nothing but blue spells and nothing but white mana. Mulligan. Oh my gosh, this is pretty bad. Oh, I did that wrong. I thought they were both hallowed fountains. Such a bummer. Well, if I lose by two life, it's my own fault. Sure. should point out, Hexgold Slith gets a 1-1 counter on it every time it deals combat damage. So if you can... That's why having this on turn 2 is pretty darn neat, because you can... Um, mm, draw your card, buddy. I will always let you draw. Decline, take action, right here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Five, nine, I can't squeak another four points of damage here anywhere, but I am gonna leave the Aether Spike up. Here we go. Got him. <laughs> what? What's going on, man? This is this is crazy. All right, so we're three and zero on the play queue. Let me, uh, I'm going to take it over to ranked where I'm quite confident there it will get absolutely stopped. All right, so what do we do? We find a match. We go to ranked. We go historic ranked. Sparky, get out of here. Yes, I know. Yes, I am familiar. Thank you. Okay. So now we play for reels for reels. Uh, that's a decent start. Boy, if we topped the slith, that would be amazing. Or really anything that gives us a ton of... Okay. Let's 
next turn's important. I need three, so I need six. All right, we need to survive this turn. If we can survive this turn, we'll be we'll be in decent shape. The um, by survive, I just mean that they don't have any huge. Big old bonkers play. I would like to untap and thank you. Thank you. I'm assuming they've got some send back to my hand spells of their own. Hello. Opponent. Hello. <sighs> Is this a salty rope? I haven't played ranked in such a long time that I've forgotten what it's like to get salty roped. So how's everybody doing? Got some peppers back here on the uh, countertop I need to cut up. I have a yellow, a red, and an orange. Really good snacking. A little ranch dip. I use Jimmy's, it's quite tasty. Okay, thanks. Then we send everybody, because why not? Take action. Yep, we're gonna put it right here. And then we hold up the manas. For countering. For anybody in the Minnesota area, I highly recommend you check out Kathy McIntoons in St. Bonifacius, Minnesota. That's a meat locker. That's pretty amazing. They also serve um, like sandwiches and stuff around lunchtime. Very good. What else can I promote? Oh, also if you're in the Minnesota area, Maynard's. Got myself a nice little gift card here. It's a pretty nice establishment. It's right on Lake Minnetonka. You can go out there and sit on the uh, on the deck and hang out by the water. I mean, some more creatures would be nice. I guess I shouldn't complain too hard, but... Like, a slith would have been perfect there. Because now we're not out of the woods yet. Oh, come on, opponent. You're killing me. This is my first venture back into ranked in, like, three or four months, and this is what it's like. Is this what it's always like? What else can I show you guys? Ah, oh, check out this thing. It's a pen my sister gave me many, many years ago. It's got little boxing gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Hey, look, we won. All right, cool. <laughs> Victory! Okay, we're gonna try again. Hopefully our opponent actually plays a game with us instead of just wimps out. Oops, volume, there you are. Tiago, right on. Um, 
Oh, that's actually kind of tempting. You know what? We're gonna keep it. Really could have used a white mana there, but do I want to cycle this away or get this thing? I'll get this thing down. Well, we're about to see what happens with this deck when you don't uh, have your optimal starting hand. What? Choose an equipment card in your hand, it perpetually gains equip. Well, they probably got like a colossal hammer or something in there. Sorry, I misspoke. Colossus Hammer. That's... <laughs> That's really gross. That's really, really gross. Wow. What's the normal equip cost on this? Oh, equip eight. Yeah, that's fine. I need to save my fading hope for, uh... Destroy each artifact creature and enchantment with mana value less than... Oh, that's actually gonna work out really well for us. I just need some creatures to back it up. Not that one, though. I need a white card. I desperately need a white card. Um... Thank you. Pay zero. Pay one. See ya. Okay. Well, they got the Colossus hammer off the damn battlefield anyway. Stoneforge Mystic, really? Probably shouldn't have used that there. Didn't really mean to, I got click happy, but it's all right. I mean, I definitely wanted it to get through to get the counter, but. Man.
Could really use the old guide right now. What else do we have in the deck that would help us out here? Another Wrath would be alright. Wrath for one. <laughs> Wrath for one would be amazing right now, actually. That's a good card. It's a real good card. Opponent! Hello, opponent. Opponent. Is this tap for mana or something? Does do one of these tap for mana? Okay. We're going to decline all of these. I don't understand, like, what what are they holding up? I mean, I suppose they can tap this, but... They can't give it... Oh, they gotta pay life if they wanna do that. Okay, here we go. Big turn coming up. We can pack them here and win. Equip two? We'll try it. Okay. Do you have a card to double its power? Pay for that pact of negation. Next. Sure. We five and over with this deck. I mean. We even had a bad start there, and we still won the match. The game. Whatever. Okay. One more. We'll do one more. This deck has to lose at some point. I think the thing that blows my mind about this is... It's mostly commons and uncommons. Like, it's not... Expensive to build. The most expensive things in here are well, obviously the lands. But these are all blue-white lands that have been available for a long time. And a player that I, I don't watch as much anymore because he doesn't... I feel like he doesn't put out as much content as he used to. But Covert Go Blue. He... Um, oh, if we were on the play, this would be amazing. It's still really good. But he used to say, spend your wild cards on your mana. You, you'll always have ways to use your mana. So that's what I do. I spend a lot of my wild cards on getting things like Hengegate Pathway, Sea Chrome Coast. Okay. So this is a rare. My most, a lot of my lands are rares, and I think the board wipes are rares. Oh boy, oof! This is gross. We're in trouble.
If I had one more. I don't think they're going to want to give up their righteous Valkyrie. So get an energy when it hits too. Oh, don't cheese out. Don't don't do the the thing. Wondering if I should hold up. Just say, wondering if I should hold up Aether Spike, but I'm not going to. Kind of wishing I would have held up Aether Spike right now. They must have a board wipe. That's the only thing I can think of. Board wipe coming. Nope. Interesting. So, you can't lose the game and opponents can't win the game. I really hate that stupid card. I just need a Fading Hope. I just need a Fading Hope. I'm sure they're gonna hit me with a board wipe here at some point. Come on, Fading Hope. Or Psych Rift. <sighs> Needed you a few turns ago, bud. Alright, well. I think we're about to run into our first loss. All because of that stupid... This stupid card. Ugh. What are you planning to banish? Ooh. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Banish my Guide of Souls. Mm -hmm. Rude. I'm still going to hold up Aether Spike. Sure. What you got, OP? Um, how about no? <laughs> I use five energy for that, but, you know, I kind of feel like it was worth it. There's got to be a board wipe coming at some point, right? It's 
What do these things need? Ten counters in order to get indestructible? Okay, well. We are a fading hope away from winning this thing. Come on. Here comes Giada. Well, now we're really in trouble. God, seriously? 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 One turn too late. Nine, thirteen, nineteen, twenty-four. We have exactly twenty-five. I kind of wanted a full swing there, and then fading hope, hoping they didn't block anything. But. Start swinging, please. Start swinging more than that. More than that. Oh, they have Vigilance! Jolted awake does me no good here. I mean, I guess I could try to survive one more turn and board wipe, but YOLO. Decline, decline, take action, put it there, take action, put it there, take action, put it there, next. Oh my god, they did it! They did it! They're letting it all through! Uh, is it enough? 5, 11, 20, 22, 24. No way! No way! Yes! 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 Ah! 6 and 0! Oh. The deck went 6 and 0! Oh. 3 and 0 oh in play queue, uh, 3 and 0 oh in ranked. That was amazing. Thank you for watching. Take care.